The next thing I'd like to share with you is about the use of diagonals and understanding the diagonals that work within our body when we're moving in dance. I want you to just think of the most natural thing that you do every day. When you wake up, you get out of bed and you walk, right? Just the natural thing that we all do is walking. If you notice when I'm walking, what is happening with my arms? There is a natural swinging going on of my arms, right? Which is producing an energy this way, this way, this way, across my body, right? We don't walk like this. And sometimes when we dance, we think we think have to think so much of posture that we become very, very wooden and stiff. So I want you to all think of the most natural thing that you do when you walk, and it's allowing your arms to swing by your sides with a momentum, opposite side of the body, working with the leg. When we move in dance, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So when we put our posture on and we line our body up and we think of our center, right? I don't want you to suddenly think, oh, ballroom dancing, I must stay still. That's not how we move at all. We must never hold our bones. So understanding the diagonals in the body, the first thing we do is just walk and see how the arms naturally swing. Now, what I'd like you to do is just take a stationary position and feel the diagonal motion working as we compress the knee from one shoulder to one hip and again from another shoulder to the opposite hip. So if you notice, my right shoulder's working with my left hip, my left shoulder's working with my right hip. So we're constantly changing through compression a diagonal through our body. So if you just simply try this exercise of rotation, don't hold the sternum so strong that the knees won't bend and it won't relate with a natural gravity action taking place into the legs and into the hips. So think of this nice relaxed feeling. Then what I'd like you to do is walk forward and just feel how that diagonal action takes place in the body. Now, what I am not trying to emphasize here is what we call negative rotation. Now, if when we walk you see this happen, what I don't want to do is focus on what is going on behind my body, but simply everything being a projective energy moving forward. So when we dance, we, even though we have opposite side of the body working with the moving leg, we don't want to think of anything being negative. So as I'm walking forward, I'm only thinking about what's happening in front of my body. I am not walking thinking, this diagonal's got to go to here, this one then to here. I'm only thinking of projective diagonal energy working across the body. So when you're trying this exercise, try not to go step change, step change. Keep the knees in a relaxed, flexed manner, connect the shoulders down and simply try and feel this diagonal connection taking place and understanding the diagonals that are naturally happening within our body. And now what I'd like to show you is a feeling from the back of my body. So simply what I'd like you to do and take note of watch is if I put the back of my hand across my right lat and I'm simply going to bring the arm down across the back and up the other side. I'm going to change my arms and think of what my lat is doing. It's going to keep changing from one side to the next. Now then, sometimes when I'm teaching this exercise, people th say to me, are you thinking about what's going up or what's going down? And the answer to that question is I'm thinking of both. But everything starts through a connection going down first. So the lat is working down and I'm thinking of the energy that is now going up through that diagonal. And it's connecting down and going up. 
But I'm not just focused on one, I'm focused on them both. But it starts by working down, then back up the back and down and back up the back. So if you don't feel the use of diagonals in the body by looking at it from the front view, you can actually see what's happening in the back as I'm changing from left to right. Now then, when you first try this and you put the hand on the back of your lat, the back of your hand, when you're dancing this exercise, Take care and try not to raise the shoulders. When you first do this exercise, that may happen. But from, from this point, if you can see, I'm using my hands on my back and I'm trying to keep my shoulders, even though there's an angle coming through the body, I'm trying to stop my shoulders from creeping up around my ears. That will cause tension and stop the range of flexibility being complete. So we're gonna relax and relax. I'll take that from the back again and one and two so you can feel the use of diagonals working within the body if you can feel that natural walking action the crisscross in front of the body no negative rotation then try the exercise by using the back of the hand on the lap muscle to uh, continue to exercise and feel how the back is working like this when we're dancing that will definitely help you and increase your back range of motion.